Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. In short, you can touch someone else's rainbow, but not your own. A rainbow is light reflecting and refracting off water particles in the air, such as rain or mist. However, it is possible to touch the water particles and refracted light, if you agree that you can touch light of a rainbow that someone else is viewing. Let's help you make your mark. Circles. Rainbows are actually full circles. The antisolar point is the center of the circle. Viewers in aircraft can sometimes see these circular rainbows. Viewers on the ground can only see the light reflected by raindrops above the horizon. Let's help you make your mark. Four answers. Surprisingly, yes, for some of them. Small, old stars can be at room temperature X. Wise 1828 plus 2650, so you could touch the surface without getting burned. Any star you can see in the sky with the naked eye, however, would be hot enough to destroy your body instantaneously if you came anywhere near them. Take our lead. You can also get them in the mist from a waterfall, though, or the spray of the ocean. Because the light exits the water droplet at an angle of 42 degrees, you always see a rainbow whenever you're standing 42 degrees below where the sunlight is coming from. Everyone is seeing it at that same 42 degree angle. Let's help you make your mark. Rainbows are formed when light from the sun is scattered by water droplets e.g. raindrops or fog, through a process called refraction. Refraction occurs when the light from the sun changes direction when passing through a medium denser than air, such as a raindrop. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.